Good day and welcome to our short uh, demonstration and explanation of how to use the Microsoft Whiteboard starting in Teams and then migrating off to the actual uh, little Windows app itself uh, and you'll see why you might want to do that. Alright, so the first thing you do is in Teams, uh, you start a meeting and uh, you can invite whoever you want. In my case, I'm just going to join. And here's a lovely blank meeting and what I want to do is go to uh, Share, which is this little icon here, the up arrow. And you'll see whatever your desktops are, whatever programs you have. But most importantly, in the bottom right-hand corner, you'll see Microsoft Whiteboard. Now, note that this is the cloud version of the Microsoft Whiteboard, which is quite limited, uh, which is very nice for new users because it just limits the options and gets you down to the core. So let's get started. Uh, so you can draw. All right, there's a lovely diamond. I know it's breathtaking. Highlight, right, pretty standard stuff. I can add in text boxes, right? Type in whatever I would like. So, yeah, well, that's enough, and I can uh, I can go in and I can change the color of that uh, text. Um, I can delete it. Pretty straightforward. I can also erase things. So I've decided I don't want that. And uh, I can add shapes, and this is pretty nice. So I can go into here and say I really want that to be hollow. I, I don't want uh, any um, con any any color in the middle there. There we go. I can grab this uh, pan and zoom icon in the top left hand corner uh, and then I can just move the entire uh, you know whiteboard around or I can go back to my shapes let's uh, just draw a shape there and now I can just move this shape around pretty straightforward now in the top right hand corner I can click the settings menu and the only thing useful here is to export as a PNG okay so pretty rudimentary uh, where I've seen this used is in new hires. New hires, uh, I watched a, an interview with someone on Bloomberg uh, for a very large organization saying that in the time of uh, COVID, it's very difficult to onboard people and get them to actually meet their managers and coworkers. So what they do is they actually play hangman and uh, they just have somebody set up the hangman in advance, invite other people and they're on their way. That's a kind of a fun little thing to do. Uh, but there are practical business, you know, more core business applications for that. Uh, th for this than, than that. And let's show you what that is. If I click open app, it's going to say to go to the store and install it if you don't already have it. Uh, in almost all companies, you can uh, do this simply by clicking get the, get the app. It's not locked down pretty much anywhere else. Uh, I've already got it installed, so I'm gonna click open app. And uh, if you haven't already signed in and downloaded it, you'll get a couple of prompts about uh, security and clicking the end user agreement. Just agree with all of that. There's nothing in there that I've read uh, that scared me. Everything looked normal. I'm just going to click on this and get rid of it. And just, we're just going to start this again. Uh, we'll go through these items and you'll see how much more rich the desktop version is. So the first thing is uh, the pens. And you'll see you've got, it's explaining that there are, that you can click on each of these items and you can change the thickness and the color. Now originally I thought this bar was the thickness level, but it's not, it's this icon here. So let's, for instance, let's go choose blue and I'll click again and I'll change it to uh, very fine and I'll change it uh, to uh, whatever color that is. Right, there we go, that's a lovely little, um, I guess a sideburns G. And I'll go to this, uh, this color here and I will change it to a very fat Let's change it to the, you know, the, the, there we go. So you get the idea, right? Pretty straightforward. Now you think, okay, well, that's sort of exciting, not. So let's click on a couple of others and show you what it is. So the eraser, I think is pretty self-explanatory. You click on the eraser and you can erase things, right? Straightforward. The ruler is the one that's most interesting for people. So you click on the ruler and you think, what the heck's the ruler for? And why can't I move it? So you, you click on the ruler and you, you can't do anything other than change the, uh, the, the position of it. You can't rotate it. And why is it at 45? Well, pretty straightforward. So let's go to, uh, let's pick this color, click on that color and draw. And you'll see what we get is actually a straight line. And you think, well, that's kind of neat. But how do I change this silly 45? The answer is the wheel on your mouse. So you just change the wheel, right? Pretty straightforward. Okay, well, let's go to this color, uh, green, and we'll change it to um, really thick and we'll change it to this blue texture. I have to be sort of close to this, but not right on. So you can see 
there I was just sort of, you know, in the air, you can see how far away my pointer is. Uh, and it really depends on where you start the pointer, not where you finish it. You can see I'm moving it around here and it's not making much difference. So uh, if I start up here, however, you know, it's still free. But if I start down near it, you get the idea? There we go, all right. Now the lasso, that is for selecting content. So I'm gonna get rid of the ruler and I'm gonna say, I don't want any of this. So I'm gonna select those items, delete. I press delete on my keyboard and they're gone. However, let's go through a couple of other options here. Well, let's uh, select uh, this, uh, this uh, bizarre uh, shape here and you'll see that I can change uh, the color. I can change the color there. I can copy it, I can delete it, and I can cut it, uh, and I can put alt text behind it. Alt text is not something most people are gonna worry about. It's really for indexing and searching or if you're putting something on the web, so we'll leave that alone. The ink beautification is kinda neat. So let's go into here, and it's saying, well look, you need to enable connected services. And we can say, take me there, okay, and turn this on, but where this is is just right here. I just go into here and uh, the top right hand corner, the hamburger uh, icon, the three lines, click privacy and security, and there it is. Okay, so there's no mystery as to where it is. All right, so now when I click on this G, I can click beautification, and it will do some stuff for me. And you think, okay, well, that wasn't very exciting. Yeah, but it is if you import a graphic, which we're going to get to right now. So there's a couple of ways, actually, there's a lot of ways to import graphics. One of them is just to drag it in. So here, I'm just going to drag my logo from another screen that you can't see and drop it put it in here and expand it. And you'll see there's a couple of cool things that I can do. So I can resize, as you can see there, just by grabbing the grab icon at the bottom right. But I can also click this like icon. And you think, why would you have like? Well, because we're gonna show you in a second how to add other people to this. So you're sharing it with other people. And you might have a list or something where you want people to select the one that they like. That like icon is awesome. I can also snap lock the background. It is now behind everything. That's kind of neat. Now, if I don't want that, in this case, I can just press Control Z, undo, uh, because there were too many things in front of it. I actually couldn't get to it. I have to move everything. <laughs> uh, but let's get back to this beautification thing. So I'm going to click on Ink Grab and watch this. So it, it changes it to a stylized version of what was there, which is, you know, just a little thing, but it's kind of neat. I'm going to press Delete and get rid of that. And what I'm gonna do is show you the normal way to insert, insert graphics, which is uh, to simply jump over to here, obviously the image menu, and select library image, Bing image, or camera. I'll choose Bing image, and I'm gonna search for headshot. And you'll see why I want to do this. Let's uh, find somebody. Let's use this lovely lady here. Okay, so we'll just click the plus. There she is. We'll make her larger, and we'll turn her, turn her just a little bit. I'll just rotate a little bit, there we go. Now look what happens when I click on, right? So it just does this little stylized thing, which is kind of neat. Okay, so I'm gonna undo that. And uh, I can say like again, I can delete right from there, I can copy. I can also click the icon over here and I can cut it and again I can put in alt text, but most people aren't going to want to do that. Okay, so alt text again is just background text, it's metadata, so it, you don't have, most people won't have to worry about that. So I'm going to, uh, well, we'll leave her in, why not? Sure. Uh, and we'll rotate her and we'll put her over there. There we go. I'd like to interject for just 10 seconds and ask you to click like if you found this video useful. Our site is dedicated to explaining technology in simple ways and providing cookbook answers for technical problems. We spend a lot of time on Windows 10, the Windows Server. We spend a lot of time on Azure, Office 365, but mostly our products are about how to's. Lots and lots of cookbooks, like how to uninstall something when it's stuck. If you would click subscribe, we would greatly appreciate it. It really helps us with the Google algorithm. Thanks for your help and back to the show. So let's go through the menu items here and you'll see there's add text. So I can go into add text and I can add in just a bunch of text like you'd expect. And I can, uh, again, like it. I can uh, select the colors. I can copy, I can delete. I can cut and I can add alt text. So there's really nothing shocking there. Here's where it gets neat. There's, well, there's two things that are really neat here. One is the add note. So I can add note and I can add another note and it makes these sort of more formalized tiles. And uh, I can, you know, just like before, I can go, I can double click on any of these and I can type whatever I want. And I can go in and I can say, you know, so let's say this is um, uh, competition one and 
This is uh, a competitor. I'll use the word competition because I've already typed it. Competition two, right? So it's competitor one and two. I just use different words, right? So there we go. And I might want to click on this and I might want to have people vote. So in this case, I'll say yes to this, but I won't say yes to uh, that I like this one. I won't click on it. And that's just a little thing, but it's nice to have. Again, I can go into colors. I can change the background color. So far, that's all sort of expected, right? Here's a couple of things that are probably not expected. So when you click the, uh, the plus, uh, what you get are paste, note grid, list, follow-up list, templates, and then a few other items we're gonna get to. So paste is pretty obvious, we're gonna skip that. Note grid's been in preview forever. Uh, actually, all of these have been in preview for a while, so just ignore the word preview. They're ready to go. Uh, so let's click note grid, and you'll see, ah, it comes up with three of them. And I can click add note, and it'll come up with a block. I can just keep adding, which is kind of nice. And again, I can go into here, and I can change the color. I can, uh, you know, add text, right? I can do all the stuff you'd expect. I can like this blank one, uh, and I can like this one. Okay, so you get the idea there. That's kind of neat. I can also, however, go into list, and I can create uh, just a task list. So I can double click on the, the word list here, and I can say, let's call, I'm just going to, I can type anything I want. So I'll put in my big fat to do list, and I can type in whatever I'd like here, right? More stuff, you know, three, 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 four, 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 get the idea. And I can say, well, I, I really, that's a priority for me. So I'm going to say, just for me, I want to do like on that. But I can't really assign it to anybody. But you can now, if I click the plus, and I click follow up lists, it's the same thing, but it has an assigned to. So I can go into here and I can say, I, uh, let's go with 111, 222, you know, a bunch of other garbage here, 323, 444, uh, let's do uh, 444. And here I'm going to, I'm just going to click on this one and click the delete key and you'll see it just goes away. But here's where it gets different. So I can assign this to anybody else that's in the meeting. And if I click that, it'll pull up the, the list of anyone else that's, that's already in this meeting and we'll be on our way. Now beyond that, there's a few other bits and pieces I can do, uh, including template, which I'm gonna show you a fresh one in just a second here. Actually, let's do it right now. All right, so this, to clear this off, I'm going to, I could go back in the top left-hand corner and select another new whiteboard, but this is all garbage. So I'm just gonna press Control A on my keyboard and I could go up here and press Delete, but I'm too quick for that, uh, just too lazy for that. I'm just gonna press Delete on my keyboard, even easier. Now, this is the thing that's most interesting in this. Templates. Take a look at this. There's not a million of them, but there's a lot. Brainstorming, Kanban, Retrospective, Effective Meetings, SWAT. I mean, how many of these SWAT meetings have you guys been through? It's, um, they just, you know, they, they might be called other things. In case, you're not, in case you're not aware, by the way, SWAT is Strengths, Weaknesses, Opportunities, and Threats. Let, let's bring that one up. So you can see this just populates with a whole lot of stuff uh, already built in for you. I'm going to press it, and again, you can just go into the strengths and you can just start typing, right? Double click and start typing, and then other people can could, uh, go in and they could like this one, and I can add note, and I can remove notes. Okay, now let's get out of that one. I'm going to just undo and get rid of it all. Actually, I'll, I'll control A and select the entire mass and get rid of it. And let's do another template so you can see, because the templates are really neat. Let's go to brainstorming, okay? So there's brainstorming. It gives you some basic rules of, of brainstorming, right? By the way, you can't edit this readily. So just if you go into, if you click on it, and you say, well, let like to change that graphic to our company logo or something. There's not a ready way to do that. So um, just be aware of that. But, you know, the rules of brainstorming are pretty straightforward. You know, st stick to uh, quantity. Don't worry about the quality. Don't be too critical. Encourage craziness and uh, try to combine ideas that uh, people come up with. So, hey, you know, Lucy already said that. Let's consider this. Um, so again, you can go into these and you can modify them. Uh, you can make changes. Uh, you can double click uh, and uh, just start typing. So let's go over the last couple of things here. Top right hand corner, you can click plus and you can invite anybody you'd like that's in your organization. You can also click on the hamburger menu at the top right and look at all of the things that are there now. There's a couple of really cool ones. Active Pen is for those with tablets and pens. So we'll skip that because not a lot of people have, well, not a lot of people actively use them. But if you do, I really encourage you to use it. It's super cool. 
Ink to Shape. That's one that a lot of people are going to want to turn on. To be honest, I'm really not sure why it's off by default. I, I guess you can make a good argument either way. But let's just show you that. So I'm going to click on Ink to Shape. And now, when I uh, changed inking mode, right, I just, when I, I think I did that quickly, I'll go slower. So when I click on the pen, which is inking mode, let's choose uh, this uh, pen. And uh, I'm going to make it uh, thicker. Now watch this. I'm going to draw a diamond again, right? And you see that? That's pretty neat. I'm going to draw a square, a rectangle, I guess. And you can see that this setting, ink to shape, really helped. Really nice. Now, object snapping, that's just what it sounds like. It, it, most people are familiar with this, but you might not be. So let's go back to the, the default menu here, and I can just click on this icon, and I can drag it around. But you see it's sort of snapping into lines. Well, I can turn that off by going here and saying, yeah, I need more granularity. I don't want that. And now, uh, wait, there it is. Now I can move it wherever it is, and it's not snapping to anything. I like Snap to Grid, uh, uh, as long as the grid's small. So that's something else to, uh, th that you probably want to leave on. So the last thing I want to show you is here. Uh, if I click the hamburger menu in the top right, the three bars, I can select Format Background. And you think, Format Background? Why would I want to do that? Well, because the white's a bit much. So I can, uh, I can uh, just keep scrolling through here and I can select, let's select this diagonal pattern, right? And you can see it slowly changes. I don't like that color. I want to change the color. Okay, and that might just be easier to use. You can see it, it is just a whiteboard and it is fairly simple. Now, something to note is that some of these advanced functions like the we're look that we we're just using here will not work in Teams. So what'll happen is when you go into Teams, you'll want to open, you'll want to click that app that the icon that says open the app and everybody will want to get the app if you want to use these more advanced functions that we just showed you that don't exist in the web version. When I say the web version, I'll show you that. So uh, what I'll do is go to uh, portal.office.com. I've already signed in, so we're on our way. And here I can click on the all apps icon at the bottom and I can select whiteboard. And you'll see that's the web version. Please click like and subscribe. It makes an enormous difference to us as far as the Google algorithms go. And if you have any questions or concerns, please put them in the comment section below. Otherwise, you can always get a hold of us at www.urtech.ca. Thanks and have a great day. Bye-bye.